Hello and welcome. I'm Aditya from falsegrafis.com. So today tutorial we will tell you about how to make a video slideshow in using OpenShot and color grading them uh, in Canon Live. Okay, so for today we will uh, use a two software is Canon Live and OpenShot. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is just make the video slide so using the open shot very important and quickly make a video slideshow and after that how uh, we get we move to Kaden Live to get a color correction and then adding some audio effect or whatever. Okay, so for the result I'll show you the result is just like this one. Okay, I make this one a little bit smaller version for the web okay okay so that was a, a photo from my mobile phone and um, imported directly to OpenShot to make them a slideshow quickly okay so let's get started open your OpenShot and in here the first thing you need to gonna do is just uh, go to preference and manage your profiles okay, for today I'm going to DV or DVD Paul manage the profile you can choose whatever you like like uh, this is you can choose uh, which one is suit you better so for me it's DP or DVD Paul uh, with the size of seven, uh, 720 uh, with a, and of course with 576 this is the suit me better I will close this for a while and move to the out save to enable our save and save before flyback okay uh, for me, sometimes open shot get crushed, so this feature helped me a lot to not losing too much. Okay, well, uh, you can move to default time to change your uh, time or uh, in general tap and changing your time or whatever, like a uh, blender is suitable. Find it, uh, you blender can melt, okay, can size and whatever. Okay, just close. So there is also a transition and evac in uh, open shot. Thanks to Jonathan Thomas, who made this application very, very uh, simple yet powerful. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is just importing all of our image here. I will select all and not the video one. I'm going to move um, uh, just drag it to our project files here. It will take a while. Okay, so the open shot will ask you about if you want to import all of them as an image sequence. We'll say no because you can import your image sequence as uh, later on in import image sequence feature that I already has in open shot. So now I have all of them image has been added to my project file. So uh, actually, you can just adding one by one here to the timeline and adding some transition evac like bubbles or something I will watch how about it gonna be shown okay you can also change the direction maybe uh switch direction okay it's a little bit weird very good very nice you can also do this but it will take time because you have a lot of uh, photo over here. So just remove this one. Transition. And what I'm going to do is just insert all of them together to the timeline. Okay, just first select the first one, and X select the end, and you can uh, add the timeline. Just right click add to timeline okay so just by clicking here uh, there also will be there's a refresh uh, move so you can move maybe like this one you want to move this file up maybe or what just moving up oh you can uh, change the what is it the lines, I mean, uh, the queuing 
which one you want to first so you can change by using this arrow button or up reverse to make a quick reverse for all the thing yeah this will not only not reverse I mean but this will shuffle shuffle mean uh, scramble your photo it will uh, make put in random yeah, okay okay great so in the next you can have a timeline location or ch change it to zero and I will make a fade in fade out goes with a random transition actually you can use whatever you like transition over here but I choose to make it random since I have a lot of photo over here okay so when you're done with your setting here you can click add it'll directly import uh, I mean add your photo beside you just put one by one it will add directly all of them together and uh, what is it put it very very neat okay before you go further it's better to save your file you will save it uh, just will save it and maybe I'll open and we'll change the project name to tutorial I'll save the project because there's already project name a uh, name by tutorial so we'll just over white yes okay now when you first playing this actually they were gonna be crash or no maybe very great okay you got a uh, very very nice transition over here so great transition okay actually we're done in uh, make a quick slideshow if I can uh, fair for it the first and the next thing you're gonna do is just render this one I'm using the export folder simple and make the profile all profile and then change it to um, maybe mp4 with uh, h uh, to, to 2000 I mean to 264 uh, and the quality is high just click export video and your video will be ready just like as it is uh, I mean don't change the video profile because when you changing when you change it it will mess up your all the settings that you have here so just leave out of this because this related with the first one that we have setting before so because I'm already rendered this so I want to uh, export this video I've already has the her version here uh, we'll just go okay over here this one is already okay this is my video will enlarge for a while get okay, no sound but okay you will see that the color is bit uh, still original I want to make uh, a lot of a vintage look video photo slash show okay so what I'm going to do is we've done an open shot I will change it to remove to cat and life get life is very very powerful and has a advanced effect even the rotoscoping and doing all of the blur and hide keyframe and show that when you uh, move with cat and life it's very very awesome and of course it's free okay it's free and open source done by KDE team I mean by yeah this is based on KDE so just be sure you install this software very very neat okay so next I just import it directly by putting it here and of course there at the timeline over here I'll show you a two minutes video course with uh okay so I'm not satisfied with the color okay it's a bit dark <laughs> okay the next thing we're going to do is just adding effect list in here you can add a color correction using curve okay so I will change it to from the red one to lumen I will increase it a little bit you'll notice the my picture is slightly bright okay that's enough it will bring in all of the image here I mean the video here 
and I, I will add another curve you can add uh, as much as you like okay for the next curve I'm going to use a blue and changing the in here point will move it down a little bit you will get a nice uh, yellow back in here uh, rise it a little bit and then I will rise it a little bit blue rise up too much okay so now when I move it's very nice vintage effect and you can move this one as you like in the next one I will add another evac is uh Fignate. Okay, so wonderful. Just a few click and you got your video ready to <laughs> upload and get satisfied result. You all can also the aspect ratio and softness or whatever. You can also add a keyframe. When you see the, the clock over here, then you can add a keyframe. And which one you want to add the uh, Fignate more? Uh, what is it? The, the strength need and then just reduce so we cover with the keyframe later because I want this is gonna be a quick tutorial okay we're done with this the next one I want to add audio so the next one I'm going to do is just moving my inventory I download from Jamindo Moto Tier and uh, track number two inspiration this is a creative common uh, music from Jamindo.com and then after that I will just move to the audio channel here okay so when we're going to play this you will hear the sound oh yeah very very neat and awesome okay because this music is longer than the video so I'm going to cut I mean to trim out we just select from here and then select the scissor icon here and then just clip it it's just like you uh, cut uh, letters <laughs> just and then you can move here oh sorry you can move and of course I'm going to delete it okay next uh, let's see okay the end of the video is bit I mean I don't like it I want to be the end the music will be fading away okay you can add another evac by changing the sort by audio and if you change the video you will see a lot of uh, effect here so just change it to audio and to and choose fade out okay, drag in okay you will see the red uh, You'll see also the this will be shifting your clip. So the red one, you can increase the duration of here, but slightly uh, increase the duration of here. Let me make it a four. Okay, it will help you. Okay, so now when we listen to this, the song is slightly fading away. So it's very, very nice. So now you've done with your quick video slide. You can add title if you want, or you want to show it to your family and others, or showing to your friend and have it no editing, uh, no edition with text or whatever. Just show it is, is uh, will show them what you're gonna do. Okay, so this is the the quick uh, tutorial for me that done with uh, bot open shot and Caden Live that really come in handy. Okay, after this you can select render and choose an your favorite uh, for me as to and before and of course you can select if you what is it uh yeah you can select another advanced option over here then just select render the file and it will be rendering your 
all of your setting here into one file okay so i think that's for today tutorial hope you enjoy and of course hit your feedback and uh, see you soon thanks for watching bye